Hi, my name is Ian Morell. I'm Deputy Head Teacher at Titus Salt School. The BSF journey has been um, quite an amazing one in, in many respects. Uh, being a pathfinder, you accept that uh, you're going to have quite a bit of pain because you're carving a new channel uh, that's not been there before. Um, the partnership with Sun Microsystems, AME Facilities Management, ICT and Stelgis meant we were able to think very carefully within a framework already established contractually what could we do with this? How can we develop this? What is out there that means that we can be at the forefront of educational change and development? And that's what we're keen to be as a school, uh, as are the other two schools in, in Phase 1, Pathfinder for BSF. We want to be at the forefront, we want to be challenged, and we also want to be challenging to other people. In order to be part of a strategy for developing ICT, but also developing teaching and learning fundamentally. How can we engage with students? How can we engage stu uh, staff's expertise? Uh, and the smart board was an obvious example. Smart board connected with a data projector offered so many opportunities for innovation, exciting, stimulating lessons. Our AST mathematics and the appointment of a community leader in ICT meant I was able to put together a programme of drop-in sessions to actually make, allow staff to become familiar in the use of ICT, in particular the use of interactive whiteboards and notebook software. What I found at a very early stage was those staff who initially were quite reluctant to engage with ICT suddenly realised that this was something that was quite exciting and quite innovative. And it was a means to actually transforming some of their actual teaching. And these were people who had been teaching 30, 35 years. Seven years ago we were at 29% 5A star to C. We're now at 68% 5A star to C. And that is due to a great deal of the dedication of the staff embracing new technology and understanding how the innovation of teaching and learning impacts on students. What I found quite striking, and so did other staff, is that the introduction of interactive whiteboards really did engage boys a great deal. Uh, as a school, we were actually part of an Excellence in Cities programme uh, looking at the gender difference, because how boys were underachieving in relation to girls through the use of not just interactive whiteboards but other curriculum changes, we've actually reduced the gender gap from 24% down to 6%. Our boys are achieving much more, they're much more engaged. They were very keen to actually be able to speak to staff in the early days and say, have you tried doing it this way? What about that idea? I've seen something go on in another lesson, how about trying it out here? And they actually found, the staff found, that they could actually collaborate with students. The introduction of whiteboards actually had a significant change in emphasis of what was going on in the classroom. The use of airliners allows us a great deal more uh, interactivity with students, so that, that feeling of having students be able to interact, coming out of their seat for the first time and being able to touch a whiteboard, although how wonderful it is, for now we're actually moving beyond that and saying here's an airliner, you can work within groups, you can move it around the classroom, so we're developing the new technologies. I think the school uh, prepares children for the future in so many ways, offering them opportunities uh, that perhaps you or I would never have had at school. Quite often when we get people coming to look around and seeing what's going on in classrooms, they often say, I wish I was back at school. It was never like this when I was at school. And I often say, well, I'm glad that it's not like it was when you were at school, because if it was, then we failed in achieving what we wanted to achieve as, as BSF.